What is up Ladder Climbers? This is Antoine Wade and in this video today, I'm going to share with you the path that I took to get to sales. And basically this video is going to give you three great careers that you can go down as a management information systems major. And it's basically the path that I took. And if I was to do it all over again, shortcuts that I would take as well to get to a very high paying salary as an MIS major. Many of you know on this channel, we talk about careers, ladder climbing, getting to the bag, you know, real estate and stuff like that. And I talk about this stuff because there's a way that you can have success in your life. And I am showing you the way how to do it based on the path that I've taken. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to take that path necessarily, but it's the way that I took it. And it's been in tech as well as climbing the corporate ladder. And today I'm a millionaire, right? So I think that is somebody I would consider myself successful. So why not be able to share this with other people as well? Let me first start off by saying this. I started my career as a software engineer, and I think a software engineer is a fantastic career that an MIS major can take directly out of school. The reason why I say that is because it is a technical career, but it also gives you an ability to talk to clients and talk to people internally and also design and really improve on your technical skills that you're going to be able to leverage for the rest of your life. Software engineering is really understanding a solution and helping customers to design that solution. It could be custom software or it could be software that already exists that could be implemented and or could be configured a different way. A software engineer is the same path that I would take if I was to do it all over again because it gave me a lot of responsibility. It taught me how the corporate world works. I was able to exceed in this world relatively fast. I was able to move from a software engineer to a master software engineer, engineer, which is a software engineer three within a matter of three to four years. And corporate America is a tough place to be, but also a lucrative place that you can be as well. And one of the ways or one of the reasons why I say that people can take this route is because the pay is very well. I started my career off as, you know, making $48,000 a year, and that was back in 2006 and was able to increase my salary all the way up to over $100,000 very, very fast in a matter of three to four years as a software engineer. So if you want to make a lot of money in your life, hone in on your technical skills, improve your soft skills, improve your communication skills become a subject matter expert in a type of solution, then a software engineer is a great path that you can take. Secondly, let me say this. The second career that I think is absolutely fantastic that you can take as well is project management. Project management is a role that will give you the responsibilities of leading teams and leading people. Now, many of these people won't be um, you know, direct reports in you. So it's gonna give you that opportunity to learn how to lead and how to manage and how to work with customers, how to be detail oriented, how to make sure things come in on time. And as a project manager, the pay is absolutely fantastic as well too. It is a strenuous job because you're gonna to have to be herding cats and you're gonna to have to make sure that you are able to lead people and get people on the same page. And you're gonna be able to have to work with customers to under or help them understand how things need to be implemented and how things need to be rolled out. And when there are challenges, which there will be many challenges, how to resolve those things. And these are skills that you're going to need in the rest of your life, in your personal life as well, too, how to resolve things and how to manage people and all that other stuff, right? So project management is a good career to have. And as a project manager, I was probably making, when I first started it uh, in that career after software engineering and got into management, I was probably making around $120,000 a year, all the way up to maybe $150,000 a year. But the skill set in general really taught me how to manage projects, how to manage people, how to become a better manager in general, and how to deal with tough customers. The third role, the after project management, instead of me going into the VP role and so forth in like customer service or customer support, I would have gone directly into sales. Now, I've only been in the sales for three years in my total career of over 16 years, but I probably would have bypassed the uh, vice president of customer support and customer success, although it is very helpful in my career today. 
But if I was to shortcut it and say, there is one skip that I would, one step that I can skip, I would say it probably would be that and I can get into that in another video. But this video is really about three great careers that you can take in order for you to make a lot of money, in order for you to make get the, to the bag, right? That's what it is, get to the bag. Get to the bag, if many of you don't know, means make a whole bunch of money so that you can you know, potentially become a millionaire and do the things that you wanna do later in your life and potentially even retire early. But sales, software sales, tech sales, is a role that I would go in directly after project management. And here's the reason why because you've already have the technical skills from being a software engineer. You understand the products, you understand how product works, you understand how to implement those uh, software and the hardcore technical skills on the side, on, on that side. You are a very good communicator and you understand customers' needs and how to make things happen based on you know, solution designs and so forth. Project management, you know how to meet time constraints and how to budget and to uh, lead people and to lead customers and your communication skills have gotten even sharper and you are you know very much becoming a one-man show with designing things and putting project plans together and stuff like that well when you transition to sales from there you're going to need those skill sets the same skill sets a lot of the time in order for you to be an effective salesman you're going to have to leverage other people and going directly from project management where your skills and the leadership and the management and the time constraints and the budgets are, you know, you've used those skills, going and using those same skills and sales will help you a tremendous amount. And the reason why I say bypass the VP stuff is because if you don't bypass it, some of those skills that you've learned as a project manager, they aren't gonna be as sharp as they once were, right? And project management skills are very important in sales because you're gonna have to rely not just on putting people in front of you or putting solutions in front of your customer to buy, but you're also gonna to have to put people in front of customers to buy from. And I always say this, sales is not selling people things. Sales is about people buying from you. And you're gonna to have to leverage the people on your team, especially in tech sales, in order for them to help the customer make a buying decision. And a lot of it is the professional services organization, which is responsible for implementing the software. And there are gonna be times when these guys are under a lot of constraints. And as a salesman who has a project manager background, you can help to fill out a lot of that or fill in for the people where there are constraints that you can put the project plans together. You can talk about how the implementation goes, or you can talk about how the, the solution design goes and things like that. So I think, you know, sharpening your project management skills and having those be super sharp and then going into sales would be a tremendous and a great transition for you. The people that I know that are having really good success right now in sales, they've taken that route where they were an engineer, then they did project management from the implementation team and then went over to the sales organization and they are killing it right now. I got a good friend of mine who went that route and they are doing absolutely tremendous. Now, don't get me wrong, but the route that I take or I took is doing very, very well for me. But if I was to shortcut it, if I would say, okay, well, let me look back at and see how I can make things more efficient to get to the money. I would say you wanna go software engineer, project manager, and then go into tech sales as a account executive or account manager or something like that. So that's what I wanted to leave in this video, guys. I wanted just to make this a open forum for me to explain three great careers, software engineering, project management, as well as tech sales as an ASD or a, a account executive or account manager. ASD is an area sales director. That's what I mean by that. And it's no different than an account executive and so forth. These are great careers that you should consider as an MIS major or somebody who's getting into the technical field who wants to make a lot of money. These are high earning positions. Software engineer is a high earning position. Uh, project management is a high earning position. Tech sales is a very high earning position. You can leverage that money that you're getting to invest in other areas of your life to become a millionaire. So I wanted to leave this video with you guys just like that. It was open, it was transparent, and I hope you guys consider this on your MIS journey. And until next time, y'all, peace.